What's up guys, so today I'm bringing you guys a super special video. I know I've done a collection video and I know I promised you guys a full collection video and I'm going to do that as soon as I move into my new house because as I've mentioned I'm moving like super soon. But I want to show you guys my entire Adidas collection and without anything else I'm just going to get right into it. Alright, so start, this is my favorite human race, yellow one. Can't go wrong, I got these at SneakerCon New York. Then, I'm not going to talk too much about these because you guys have probably seen them everywhere else. The orange pair. I have the green pair. I have a second pair down there, but I'm giving these away on the channel, so if you haven't already, click the link down below to enter it, and you can win a pair of these. I think the pair I'm giving away is a size 10, but I also have a personal pair of the green, a black pair. I'm probably going to put the white laces on it, so that way it's just a black and white. Get rid of the yellow, but we'll see. Red human race. The blue human race. I only wore these once, but I wore them to the Chargers game that I got to walk on the sideline on, which is pretty cool. Same pair I'm giving away. This is the only pair of like V1 350s, I guess you could say that I have. These are the Oxford tan pair. I have I've done some pretty good wear in these. I've had all the other colors at some point, but I'm to be honest, I'm not really feeling the pirates. Oxfords are definitely probably my favorite other than the turtle doves, which I need to get back, but the price is so high now, it's insane. These V2s I'm definitely feeling though. I got this Oreo pair. Shout out to Riff Los Angeles and Jeff over there for hooking me up before they even came out. Really appreciate it. And I got a pair of Belugas. I got these at SneakerCon New York after I gave away, or right as I was about to give away my other pair. I think they're super, super, super nice. Probably the best V2 so far. When that white one comes out, that'll be way better. Next, my favorite of the V2s that aren't belugas, like just the black and some color, the red one. These are super clean and they're a little bit flashy while still being easy to wear because they're mostly black. I'm just excited for summer when you can really, really start to wear this stuff. It's going to be so much fun. So really looking forward to wearing these. If you guys are used to watching my channel, you guys saw I picked these up a, a couple days ago at an Adidas outlet when I was in Utah for the holidays. 25 bucks haven't worn them yet definitely will they pop a lot though so it'll be a little tough to wear but i will so these are the white camo nmd xr1s these are actually the nmds that i picked up on the last vlog i said i would show you guys the xr1s when i got home and i totally forgot to but these are the ones i picked up just so you guys know i have one more pair of xr1s the all white out pair i got them for retail but i didn't get them at the store someone actually brought them in urban necessities for retail so kind of got lucky I mean they're not worth a lot more than retail but I like all white shoes especially in the summer so easy to wear so may as well get them when you can out of all my adidas shoes this is probably my least favorite I don't dislike them they're just my least favorite it is the mountaineering city socks I like city socks these ones are a bit stiffer than most city socks are because they have these three like plasticky stripes that go all the way around so they're not as comfortable like I thought they would be but I got them for a great deal at SneakerCon New York City someone who actually watches the channel hooked me up with these so thank you to you if you're watching this still I'm gonna run through these real quick they're my 750s a lot of people probably have 750s so I'll just show them real quick chocolate 750s probably my favorite one out of all the colors uh, this is my second favorite of all the colors gum 750 I like them all but that's just in order my third favorite would probably be the gray with the white midsole, but for how much they're going for, totally not worth it. And then I do have a pair of the triple blacks I got from Blake Lender over the summer. So now to get into a few of my mesh NMDs, they're definitely a lot less valuable than say the Yeezys or the human races, but I wear them a lot more. Not all the colors, some of the colors are fairly new, but I just really like them. Haven't worn these yet the olive NMDs, I will wear them. I like to wear my shoes, if I buy it, I'm gonna wear it, and if I'm not gonna wear it, and I realize I'm never gonna wear it, then I'd rather just sell it, but these will definitely be worn a lot, olive NMDs. I just recently got these for my birthday, they're the, what are they called, like gray wool mesh NMD or something? Yeah. Do you know? Yeah, gray so. wool mesh know. NMDs. That's what they look like. Yeah, that's what they look like, so that's what I'm gonna call them. I really like these. I should have worn them in the snow, but I just didn't want to undies them so soon, but I'm going to wear it probably the next week. And then leaving the NMDs for a second, the first pair of Adidas I had before all the Adidas hype, I got a pair of Fluxes made. I made them on my Adidas. It's like a Star Wars edition. You can actually, they came with like this dust bag too that says Star Wars all over it. I'm not really into that series, but that was the thing. Like they say Star Wars on the insole. 
They say Star Wars on the insole. On the back, they say win with the number 33. So basically the reason I made these is I played basketball for my school as a sophomore. I'm a junior now. So way before I started YouTube, I wore number 33 on my team. These are my school colors, gray with like a navy. So I figured just make these, wear them to games and stuff. They were like 80 or $90, I think. Way before Adidas was hot and I would like get made fun of for wearing these like old man Adidas running shoes. But now to get into my favorite Adidas shoe of all, more than the human races, more than the Yeezys of either high or low, more than mesh NMD, prime to NMDs. I've never put something on my feet that's more comfortable than these, so just to get right into it. So these are all black prime to NMDs from the City Pack. These are super, super nice, super easy to wear, but I just love how prime nets are practically socks. You can just completely, and it doesn't harm the shoe or anything. I'm not just like not caring about my shoes. Like, oh, they just really like, they're super flexible, easy to wear, comfortable. You know what prime knits are? They're super flexible. <laughs> That's what they are. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I can't make this stuff up. The so next, going down the line of prime knits, I have the, I'm pretty sure these are called the salmon, like, Glitch, PK NMDs, really like these. One thing about prime knits is they look very, very small, just like on your foot. And especially for me, I'm like fairly taller. I'm like a little over six feet. And in prime knits, I need a size 10 and they look small as is. So sometimes they look a little too small, but they actually fit fine and are so comfortable. So This is a pair that I will actually not wear. It's a size 11 and a half. I was able to double up for retail, so I did but this, this, is, this definitely won't fit me. An 11 and a half probably would fit someone who's like a 12, 12 and a half. I'm like a true 11, so these would be way too big, but for retail, I figured I'll cop them, hold on to them, maybe trade them at SneakerCon. I will be at SneakerCon Miami, SneakerCon Cleveland, and SneakerCon London, so maybe I'll bring these to trade. And then since I got that tricolor, I had to get the other tricolor. These are easier to wear, but overall I probably like the gray one better, but I'll definitely wear both of these. These are going to be probably daily wears fairly soon. If I ever have to choose a shoe, I'm racing, I got to go to school, I got to go do this, and I don't have time to be like, what am I trying to wear today? Then I got to just go with a simple prime knit, so that way I'll know I'll be comfortable while looking at least decent in them. The next pair I have is the Paris or France pair of the City Pack, the beige ones. I had two pairs of them. But my good friend Josh, who I've done like sneaker guessing game with, and he's been in a few vlogs, and he's come and helped me. He's been one of my good friends since way before like I was ever on YouTube. I had another pair that I had worn also. I don't know why I undiesed both pairs. That was just kind of dumb. But I I did decide to give him my other pair for Christmas. So now I only have one, but I only need one. That's okay. So shout out to Josh, and I still have a pair of the beige NMDs. Really like these. I do have a pair of these white OG Prime Knit NMDs. This and the Blue Human Race are the only two shoes I brought with me when I went to San Diego for that weekend about a month ago for the Chargers game. And my dad and I decided to go golfing. So I had to play golf in these, which is why they're slightly, they have a slight green tint on the sole because I had to play golf in them, but they're not good golf shoes, especially because you got to keep your feet still when you're golfing. It is very hard to keep your foot still in a shoe that does this, but it's okay. Let's just say we shot our career around it. 78, thank you. So next, these are actually the shoes I wear every day. Uh, you can't really tell, I mean, obviously they're dirty, but you can't quite tell, especially probably on camera that I wear them every day, but at least four days a week to school. These are on my feet. They're so comfortable. I go to a school where you have to only wear a certain color of shoe, so this fits that criteria. And when you're sitting in a desk for seven hours, being comfortable is of prime importance. Keeping it rolling with Prime Knit NMDs, I have these Packer NMDs. I got them for 250, not five to 700. For those of you who've been around, I know that they're not worth that. I totally misspoke. Sometimes that happens, especially on camera, and you just don't see it when you're editing. But I actually really like these. these they're so much more colorful than all the rest, so it's nice to have something different. One of my favorite releases of 2016. I have a second pair of the white OG Prime Knits. This pair is in a lot better condition. I've only worn these like once. So I have a second pair of these Japan, I think is what they're called. These are the Japan ones of the City Pack NMD Prime Knits. I got these in a trade. I mean, I got more than just this, but I had traded away my pair of copper V2s that I used to have. I used to have all of them, but I don't have 
the coppers anymore or the olives, but I traded the coppers away. I got these and some other things to my good friend Jordan. He's not, yeah, he's not yet been on a video, but I, he probably will be soon. Double up pair of tri-colors. This is gonna be my personal pair because it is my size. The 11 half is way too big. Now to get back into some mesh NMDs and for you guys who are like, he never really beats his shoes. Why does he not beat his shoes? Well. Oh shoot, here's a dead stock pair of mesh NMDs, but that's because I just got these like really recently. So yeah, just some black wool mesh NMDs. But these next two, I'll show you guys. I used to wear these to school almost every day. Here's the gray pair. They're even ripped a little bit. I mean, they're not like completely trashed, but they're not the best either. I definitely got some good use out of them, so. They hold up pretty well. I mean, I wore them for probably 40 times at least, and that's wearing them all day long, so that's pretty good. Now this pair is bad. Here's the story behind this pair. You see the toes like blue, part of the sole's flattened, they're like stained a lot. Yeah, like right turn there it. and right there. Yeah, turn it down a little bit. pretty worn I don't know if the camera can completely capture it but they're stained blue a lot on the uppers basically that's the color of the turf on the football field at my school and the reason that that has dyed my NMDs is I I had only worn these like two or three times and at my school you need sports credits so I went out to try out for the soccer team didn't have cleats so I had to wear these to the soccer practice one thing led to another on the blue turf and now my white NMDs are stained blue I haven't tried crepping them yet, maybe that'll work. So for the last row, I wanted to get into probably what I wear the most, which is the Ultra Boost, other than the Prime Knits. Like the Prime Knits, I wear a lot to school and stuff, but on weekends, casually, Ultra Boost are probably my go-tos. Especially these, like I've worn these to concerts and stuff like that. They're, you guys saw in my collection video, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. I have crept them, so they're a bit cleaner, but these are pretty thrashed. So they stay in the bottom drop front and I pull them out when I know I need a shoe that I don't want to wear a nice prime knit or a Yeezy because I know it's about to get like real good. But I like to pull these out still because they are still comfortable. He's wearing them. He got me beat. You got me beat. You got me. You got me beat on the beat shoes. Those are pretty. Those are pretty gnarly, but we way out kick. Next pair down, my only pair of uncaged, but probably my favorite pair of uncaged that has dropped yet, the olives. I tried them on, that's why the laces are all messed up. I just got them pretty recently. We'll be wearing them super soon, very comfortable. They almost feel like, I mean, that is what they are. They're basically prime knit mixed with Ultra Boost. You got the Ultra Boost Continental Tyler, what, what is it? You got the Continental Ultra Boost Sole, tire sole, whatever. And then you got like a prime knit upper, which is real nice, so. Glad I have those. It's a nice simple pair of Ultra Boost. Haven't worn them yet, but all black pair. These are gonna end up being my new beaters probably since those white ones are getting near the end. I do have the caged pair of olives as well. I got these in the biggest hype beast trade on YouTube. If you haven't seen that video, you should go check it out. It's pretty crazy. It was a huge trade. I got a lot more than just some Adidas stuff, but I got these from Blake Linder. My two favorite pairs overall of all my adidas overall i like the prime knit better but my two favorite adidas pairs in no particular order because i couldn't decide they're both very beat because i wear them a lot especially the boost like i mean I've, the soles aren't that dirty because these soles are like these nice tire soles so they don't really show a lot of wear but the boost you can tell it's just a bit worn down but the these two in the metal pack i don't have the coppers yet i would like to get the coppers but these are super flashy, so I like these and I wear gray a lot, so this kind of goes with it. But these are a little more subtle, but that nice gold hit is kind of pretty sick too, with the leather cage, which I really like. So I have one more pair to show you guys. I want to end on a showstopper. That's how I like to do it. There's no bigger Adidas showstopper shoe. The 950s, absolutely from practicality, basketball, in the snow, these do it all. If you don't believe me, go watch my video where I played my friend Wyatt in 950s. I mean, he didn't win. That might have been because my one-on-one -on -one is a little nasty, but it's also because he was probably too busy dealing with the fire on his feet. His feet were probably on fire. These are 
too much to handle. A lot of people hate on the 950. I really, really like them. I say 750 is a little better because it's easier to wear, but I want to end this video with the 950. All right, guys, so thank you all for watching. Hope you guys like my 950s. If you do, leave a thumbs up. If you don't like the 950s, it's okay. But if you like this stuff, also leave a thumbs up. As always, subscribe down below if you haven't already. Enter the giveaway, I'm giving away a pair of either black or gum 750s. You choose second place in the giveaway will get my extra green pair of human race NMDs. My cameraman is yawning, so that's my cue that this video has gone on long enough. Hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you guys aren't yawning. And as always, Stay winning, make it happen. I'm out. Peace. You wanna know something funny? What? I recorded that whole thing in Nike socks. <laughs> <laughs>